Praise the Lord. Today's word of the day. Today's word of the day comes from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 6, verse 7. Ecclesiastes, chapter 6, verse 7. And it says, all the labor of man is for his mouth, and yet the soul is not satisfied. Amen. All the labor of man is for his mouth, and yet the soul is not satisfied. Amen. So, it's, uh, you know, we know the book of Ecclesiastes is really a book about the vanity of the way of life on this earth. And, and what we see here, and this is very common is that even all the work that we do we can get so focused on that and trying to either achieve to uh to accomplish things to get more money to um for whatever reason we can get caught up in the gain of this world and it does not satisfy the soul that's the bottom line there are billionaires who cannot stop working because they want more and they're trying to fill a void that can't be filled any other way but through Jesus Christ. And so they keep seeking, they keep searching. God is really speaking to me about this this week. Um, and But they're, they're just not going to get it. They're not going to get fulfilled. There'll never be enough. It's never going to satisfy the soul. But we know what satisfies the soul, praise the Lord. First Timothy chapter 6, verses 6 through 10 says, now godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and clothing, with these we shall be content. I know we talked about this recently. But those who desire to be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and harmful lusts which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil for which some have strayed from the faith in their greediness and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Amen. Yeah, it, it can, it's definitely a draw. It can be a small G God. Uh, you cannot love God and mammon. It won't work. We can't love God and money. If we look towards money as being our savior, we're going to lose our focus on God. Luke chapter 12, verses 13 through 21, Jesus is talking here. Oh, well, okay. One from the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me. But he said to me, said to him, Man, who made me a judge or an arbitrator over you? And he said to them, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for one's life does not consist in the abundance of the things he possesses. Then he spoke a parable to them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man yielded plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do, since I have no room to store my crop? So he said, I will do this. I will pull down my barns and build greater, and there I will store all my crops and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, you have many goods laid up for many years. Take your ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God has said to him, fool, this night your soul will be required of you, then whose will those things be which you have provided? So is he who lays up treasure for himself and is not rich towards God. Amen. So what does that look like for us today? Maybe we're not billionaires and we have everything we need, but uh, we may be working for a retirement plan. We may have goals and things that we we think that we can do to find an easier, more comfortable life in the days ahead. And I believe God is just saying, you know, take each day walking with me. I'm going to provide for all your needs. I'm going to, what does the word say? Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given unto you. Walk in heaven today, which means walk with God. You're already going to have everything we need. We're all going to have everything we need. And we can just already check into the kingdom and out of this world and what the, the world thinks is going to be uh, what keeps us going and gives us rest. We can find rest in him and all the security and provision that we need. And that is what I believe what he wants for us all. As G Jesus said in John 6, verse 27, do not labor for the food which perishes 
or cars that break down or whatever, but for the food which endures to an everlasting life, which the Son of Man will give you, because God the Father has set, has set his seal on him. Praise the Lord. Well, Heavenly Father, we thank you for reminding us, Lord. It's very easy for us to get caught up in our jobs, in our education, and all these other things that the world wants us to do. doesn't mean you don't want us working. It doesn't mean you don't want us to go to school. But our focus is on you. Help us focus on you. You will provide for everything we need, and you will also strengthen us for eternal life. Help us live in your kingdom now and not wait. Not try to get by by the ways of this world and let us never get caught in the snare of thinking that we need money or uh, things to uh, make us safe and secure. Keep our eyes on you, Lord. Bring us all the way in. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. And that is our word of the day. Praise the Lord. Amen.